everybody. Jeff Bernhardt here, your executive gardener with your update for the week. And I'm gonna tell you a little story this week. Uh, I was at a soccer game uh, watching my daughters play and uh, one of the guys there said to me, Jeff, of all the hobbies, how, why did you come up with gardening for your hobby? So the first answer I always give is that it's great stress relief for me uh, and I enjoy getting my hands in the dirt versus being all dressed up like this all the time. And the other answer I said to him is, quite frankly, it's to grow uh, healthier and more nutritious, more nutritious fruit and vegetables for my family. Because most of you don't know this, but when you uh, buy a tomato, and this happens to be a fresh tomato I just picked today, look at the color on that thing. Um, but when you buy fruit uh, like tomatoes and peppers and things in the grocery store like Whole Foods, uh, by the time it gets to the grocery store, it's probably three to five days old. So uh, most, uh, about half or 40% of the nutritional value uh, fructose, sucrose, uh, vitamins, amino acids, proteins uh, that are in uh, fruits and vegetables are lost uh, after it's picked within three to five days. So it's really interesting and I'll t show you an example of what I do. So there's something called a refractometer and I'll show you what this looks like. You basically lift the top of this up, I get a garlic press and I did a, uh, an actual um, test for myself. I took a fresh tomato like this, I squeezed some juice on here, and then you shut the glass, and you look through the lens, and when you look through the lens, there's a, there's a, a, a color chart that shows you a scale from 0 to 15. And for tomatoes, for example, you're trying to measure the BRICS content, B-R-I-X. Refractometers measure the BRICS content of fruit, vegetables, people do it for vineyards, wine, etc. And what the refractometer does is it shows you the BRICS content. The BRICS content is the level of amino acids, protein, sucrose, fructose, um, minerals, and vitamins that are in the fruit uh, per 100 pounds of fruit. And uh, to give you an example, when you grow your own fruit in your garden and you pick it right from the vine, and that day and you eat it, I did that with this tomato, or one like it. Uh, the scale is 0 to 10, let's say, for tomatoes, 5 being average, 4 being poor, 10 being excellent. Uh, this tomato, or its sister, one like this, measured an 11 and a half. That means it's much higher than excellent in nutritional value based on the BRICS meter, or the refractometer BRICS test. I also bought a tomato from Whole Foods, considered a very good store. That tomato measured a five, five and a half, or six. So a big difference uh, when, um, again, a plant is picked or a fruit is picked like a vegetable, it loses 30 to 50% of its nutritional value, water, within three to five days. So as things die and decay, amino acids are, are put off by the plant and it completely changes the flavor. So if you've ever heard anybody say, you know, uh, eating a, a fresh grown pepper or tomato tastes differently than it does in the store. Um, they're absolutely right. It's night and day difference. So when this gentleman came up to me and asked me, why do I grow my own food? Well, if you have kids like I do, you want to feed your kids healthy food. And you wouldn't, so I said to this guy, you wouldn't give your kids a three day year old hamburger that you left in the car or left on the counter for McDonald's, would you? or Burger King? And the answer is, of course you wouldn't. Number one, that stuff's crap to begin with. But uh, like anything that is alive or fresh at one point in time, it does break down over time. So if you wouldn't give your kids a three-day-old cheeseburger from McDonald's that sat on your counter, why in the world would you feed them three-year-old, excuse me, three-day-old fruit or tomatoes or peppers or apples that are from a store. Now, some of the things you can't deal with, you may not be able to fit an apple tree on your property or a pear tree, but sure as heck you can grow a tomato plant or a pepper plant in some small space in your yard or hydroponically in your apartment. And what you'll do is that you'll feed your kids and yourself nutritious food. And as I told you before, there's a night and day difference between uh, the tastes. So that's an answer to uh, why I grow fresh fruit is to eat more nutritious, vitamin-filled uh, plants, vegetables, fruits, etc. And the refractometer measures the BRICS content. So hope this is something you learned and hope you start growing your own peppers, tomatoes, or whatever it may be in your backyard. Have a good one.